Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Happy, what, Friday Eve. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Delane and Harvey Donald. Good morning to you guys. I pray you all received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. It's a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey there, Heartbeat Anita. Wherever you are, come on and give God a praise because he is just good like that. You know, last night was not your last night. Night. Yesterday was not your last day. God deserves our praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey there, Heartbeat Eva. Hey, Heartbeat Rodney. Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn. Hey, Heartbeat Alice. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Yolanda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the Heart Gathering. Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is God's Got Me Part 3. God's Got Me Part 3. You know, we started the week off talking about talking about God is with us. And I just wanted to make this thing personal for each and every one of us that God's got me. And as long as you understand, as long as you switch your brain and stay there knowing that God's got me, you can face any collection calamity. You can face any situation. Why? Because when you know that God's got me, you know that in the end you win. That as you go through it, you are not alone. That God has gone before you. Grace and mercy follows you all the days of your life. You're sandwiched in between that, which means that everything is all right. Everything is mm -mm good. And so you've just got to remember God's got me me no matter what comes today God's got me you keep a smile on your face because your faith is in our God the God that is undefeated the God that has never lost a battle the God that always knows that it ends in the praise yeah that God the God that I am I am you know the God that says I'll be whatever you need me to be whenever you need me to be the God that is always there glory to God let me get into this word um, today we are um, at Hebrews 13 verses 5 and 6 and I'll be reading the Amplified Classic Version. Hey Harpy Melody and Harpy Devon and it, over here in Hebrews 13 worship is going on and we're talking about worship that, that pleases God to love one another you know even the prisoner and then you know they're talking about the danger of, of greed and relying on worldly riches and we all have been there we've all you know relied on our paycheck we look forward to that Friday or Monday, whatever it is you get paid. We've all done that. We've all felt comfortable because we got a fat bank account or we got a good 401k or we have stock. You know, we rely on worldly riches, but God wants us to know it is he that has provided all of that and that he is the one that is, um, he, he provides all he has provided all of those riches that we have. It is he who has given us the mind to work, the mind to come up with these creative ideas to make this money, but God provided all that is needed for us really to live a life of faith. That faith is the currency of the kingdom of God. And so he, we have receipts to show that he is who he is. And so instead of relying on the worldly riches, we need to jump over here and rely on God. Rely that God has given us strategic plans on how to make it financially. He's given us the tithe. He's given us the offering. He's given us the sowing the seed. And so that is how we make and we rely on our faith, not on our worldly riches. Now, jumping into it, verse five, that was, ver that, that was verses one through four. Verse five, let your character of moral, and I'm in the Amplified Classic, let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money, including greed, avarice, lust, and craving for earthly possessions, and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. For he, God himself has said, this is good right here. For he, God himself has said, I will not 
in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. So here God is taking a stance, making a declaration, letting you know that all you have to do is depend on him to operate in faith, see past your now, not looking at your circumstance, but understanding that everything in heaven requires faith, that that is the currency of the kingdom of God, that you have faith. When you have faith, you can see past your now. You're not stuck in the situation that you're in. You're not boxed in the circumstance because you know that there is a God. Hallelujah. The God who says that I will not in any way fail you. Listen, you can take that to the bank. He will not fail you. He says, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. So if it seems, if life has presented an opportunity where it looks like you don't have enough, you can stand on this word that I will not leave you without support. So get this, if God has not come through yet, if you have not seen breakthrough, that just simply means that he's still working on it because when he comes through, glory to God, it's going to give you that worship that they talking about in the first um, four verses. It's going to give you a praise that it's going to put a prayer and you're going to have one of them, as um, the late Pastor Bridget would say, a boot praise when you just bust out in a praise you can't explain it nobody can explain it listen then it says I will not in any way fail you nor give you up nor leave you without support then he backs that thing up he says I will not I will not I will not. Listen, when somebody repeats, I will not, I will not, I will not, they want you to get it and understand what I just said. I will not leave you without support. He says, I will not fail you in any way. I will not leave you without support. I will not give you up. I will not. Look at how many times he went through that to assure you that I'm your God, that I'm not going to fail you, that all you've got to know that God's got me, that he will not fail me. He will not leave me. He will not leave me without support. Then it goes on. He says, I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down, nor relax my hold on you. Listen, that tells me this, that God has got me and my situation in the palm of his hand. That tells me that he's never relaxing his hold, which means he's never taking his eye off my situation. He's never taking his eye off of me. That he's always looking down from his holy habitation to bless me. God's got me. And you You've got to remember that, that no matter what's going on, God's got me. Then it says, surely not. Listen, surely not. Uh, surely not, not listen, you can take it to the bank. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to give you up. I'm not going to leave you without support. I'm not going to relax my hand on you, my hold on you. I will not. I will not. I will not. Then he backs that thing up and says, assuredly uh, not. You got to get that in your spirit that God's got me. When he says all this to let you know, I don't know who that is for this morning, but God came to use me to tell you that he's got your situation. You just hang in there. He just needs you to stay in faith. He has plenty of receipts. Listen, he's done it before. Why wouldn't he do it again? Allow God to be God in your life. Stop worrying. Get that sweet sleep at night. Keep moving forward. Remember, you got to see past your now. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. So you've got to keep moving. It's the substance. You got to keep moving, keep moving. Um, so it says this back in the verse. So we take comfort and I, we, mm, so we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Glory to God. Faith, faith, listen, faith is the substance of things not seen, right? The evidence of things not seen, right? Again, seeing past my now. So he says this, take comfort and be encouraged. And confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Here we are again, the substance of things not seen. That, I'm, I'm getting this scripture twisted up here. Um, so we take comfort and are, and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm, which means I won't worry. 
I won't fall over in, into worry. I won't fall over into doubt. I won't fall over into not believing my God. He says this, I will not fear. Remember, he's told us over and over. I think in scripture, it's about 360, almost 365 times, almost once a day, because God knew that we were going to need to know, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Every day that we will be faced with something that will make us think that God would not be there. But he says, I am your helper. Then he says, I will not. He says, listen, this is what you have got to boldly say. The Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear or dread or be terrified. Why? Again, don't be afraid. You know, one translation says it like this. Don't forget what I told you. Don't forget that I told you don't be afraid. Don't forget that I told you to be bold. Don't forget that I told you to be courageous. Don't forget that I told you that I've already gone before you. He says, I will not fear or dread. What does that mean? That I'm going to enjoy my life? It said, look, the Bible says that Jesus came that I might have life and have that life more abundantly. So what am I going to do? I'm going to enjoy this life of more abundantly. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to dread. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what the circumstance is. My God has told me he has declared a thing. He has decreed a thing to tell me that I will not, I will not, I will not under any circumstance leave you without support. That I will not, I will not, I will not leave you without aid. That I'm coming through for you. I will never relax my hold on you. So you've got to know that God's got me. Then it says this. This is how this verse ends. It says, what can man do to me? Absolutely nothing. Remember, we talked about early last week. What can separate us from the love of God? Because God loves you, he's not going to leave you. Because God loves you, he's not going to give up um, support on you. He says, I will not, I will not, I will not. Then he seals that thing and says, assuredly not. So you have got to know on today, Heartbeat Nation, that God is is with us, that God's got me, that no matter what I'm going through today, God's got me, God's got me, and you have got to praise God right now that God's got me, that he loves you so much that he will send a word specifically for you on this morning to calm your nerves, to make you relax, to remind you that I did it before and I will do it again, that I am your helper. You see that? He says, I am your helper, which simply means this. Don't don't you depend on nobody else? Don't you think it's those worldly riches that you have that I am your helper? I am your God. I am your redeemer. Glory to God. I am your provider. God's got me. And as long as you switch your brain, as long as you remember that God's got me, listen, you can face anything because in the end you win. Why? Because God's got me. Glory to God. So I want you to relax. I want you to rest. I want you to enjoy this day that God has given you. I want you to walk in this thing knowing that the day is spec while amazing because God's got me. Don't you worry about a diagnosis that's been given. Don't you worry about your bank account. Don't you worry about that wayward child or that wayward grandchild. God's got me. Listen, he says this. I got you so much that I'm going to tell you cast your cares upon me because I care for you. Listen, he says take my yoke because it's easy and my burdens are like God's got me I am your helper that is what you've got to remember I am your helper says the Lord hey listen that's the daily dosage for today God's got me part three if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel I simply don't know why you need to go on over there and subscribe to it because there you can find all your dosages in one place follow me on social media platforms God wants me whole visit the website God God wants me whole.org. Come on, you know how we do this thing. Let's say it together. Let's add this in. God's got me. God wants me whole. And I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there. Have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are are falling all around you. And remember, God's got me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see that quite a few of you are saying that that is for me. Thank you for the, I needed this word. It would 
service for me. Listen, you are welcome. It is truly my pleasure to serve God's people. Glory to God. Hey there, Harpy Jalen, Harpy Connie. I saw your names going up after I had gotten started. Hey, Harpy Sabrina. Good morning. Good morning. A good morning again. Make it spec while amazing. Look out for those falling blessings because I'm telling you, they are falling all around you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Listen, God still has plenty of time to answer your prayer. And I'm telling you, December is going to be bananas. It's going to be crazy. You are about to see God's glory in your life. So hang in there. Don't you throw in the towel. You're too close. You got this because God's got you. Last benediction. I will see you guys in the morning as we continue on in God's got me again. Make it spec while amazing and know that I love you a bunch. See you in the morning.